Good morning everyone, Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning, recipes, a little bit of everything. Got lots to do today, got lots of baking as you can see going on. Yesterday I made an authentic 1884 coffee cake, look for that video, um, it should be up shortly. Absolutely delicious, we were very impressed with how it turned out and if you go back and watch the recipe you'll see it was quite difficult to do uh, for us but we made it easy for you so go check it out. But before I get baking, I need to go ahead and uh, get me some breakfast. And I'm going to make one of Texas' uh, favorite uh, breakfast burritos. It's a Tex-Mex dish. Um, you can spice it up as much as you want, but it's super easy to do. And so let's get started. Let me show you just how easy it is to make you some breakfast for today and also save some for the week. Let's go. To get started making our wonderful breakfast burritos that I think you'll like, we have a pork sausage here. We're only gonna use about a half a pound of this. We do buy uh, much of our meat from the butcher box. It is a uh, organic, grass-fed, no hormones, uh, no antibiotics kind of meat. Uh, we get a lot of our steaks. We get our hamburger meat from there. Of course, you can use anything you want because I do use also Owens and other sausages, but right now this is what I have. So I'm gonna use a half a pound of this. I got about a quarter cup of uh, grated cheese. I've got me some tortillas, flour tortillas, and I have about six eggs. Okay, I've got my six eggs in a bowl and I'm gonna whisk them up a little bit. You want them just like when you're making scrambled eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese. And I'm just getting these ready for when the sausage is done. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, however you like them. Okay, we got our half pound of sausage and our iron skillet. Speaking of iron skillet, why don't you go check out uh, Cast Iron Skillet's YouTube page, uh, channel. They have lots of great videos on there, lots of home cooking. Anyway, so we're going to cook this up until it's very crumbly. You want to make sure that your sausage is done completely. And one of the great things about this recipe I want to point out is that you can make it as spicy or mild as you want. We are using mild sausage, but um, I may add some of my pepper relish that I made earlier in the year from when I picked my last peppers right before the freeze and I did pickle them up. If you want to know how to do that, go back and look at the recipe. Or you can add uh, red bell peppers, you can add rotel to it, you can add some of your hatch green chilies if you have some of those that you froze up earlier in the year. So you can make this as zesty, as spicy as you want. You can see it's cooking up quite nicely. I do want it to get a little bit more brown and you do want your sausage to be crumbly. Smells delicious. Be sure and drain the grease off of it. You don't want any extra added grease. Okay, now that my sausage is browned, I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, egg and cheese mixture. And this isn't gonna take very long. Remember, this is about six eggs. And it's almost like you're scrambling eggs just with sausage in them and cheese. Again, add some rotel, add some red bells, some green bells, some jalapeno peppers, whichever you would like. I've got this on about medium heat. You can see they're starting to thicken up and starting to look like scrambled eggs. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my heat because I think it's hot enough to finish out the cooking here. Now this would be the point where you would add either your red bell peppers or your jalapeno peppers, uh, your hatch green chilies, as long as they're already softened. Just spice them up a bit, even your rotel, but I would add the rotel at the beginning of, uh, or I'd add the rotel to the egg mixture. Okay, it looks like it's done. I'm gonna get my tortillas ready. Okay, so here are my tortillas. I've got eight ready because I feel like it's gonna make at least eight, if not more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap these up in the paper towel, fold them up and seal them, and I'm gonna pop them in the microwave for about 20 seconds. That's enough to soften them up and heat them up. Okay, so my tortillas are hot and ready. Now it's time to put my egg and cheese and sausage mixture in there. You can see I made one right here, just to show you what it's gonna look like. So just put a little bit in there in the middle. You want to fold it over just probably about half ways and just fold one end in. Have your foil sheets ready so you can just do this right here and roll it up. 
These will be ready for you um, all week long. You can pop these in the freezer and uh, just heat them up in the microwave when you get to work or in the morning. Just put them on about 10 to 20 seconds. It just depends, but take them out of the foil, wrap them in a uh, paper towel, and these taste just as good as the day they were made. Let's do one more here. You can add bikani sauce. I'll take a little side with me. Fold it over, fold the one end. Put that in there. Fold, fold, and roll them up. So, I'm set for the week with my breakfast. You guys are too. I hope that you do decide to make these. Again, you can add bell peppers, jalapeno, hatch green chilies, your rotel, anything that you want. But these are absolutely delicious. Take care. God bless. Have a great weekend. We look forward to making more videos and seeing you. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. Just click on that uh, subscribe button in the right-hand corner. And have a great day, guys.